When you see those twin clock towers in the distance, you know you're arriving in the Royal Naval Dockyard, or as the locals call it, Dockyard. Everything is extremely quiet right now. There's not much touristy stuff going on, even though there are two cruise ships in, but it seems like most of the people have not disembarked yet to go do their tours. But this is a really nice space, and um, I'm enjoying it. for the transgression of her sins. Don't! You get a suffer! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's lovely. laughs> oh, do it again! That was nice! <laughs> oh, I'm so cool! <laughs> and you're all sweating hot! <laughs> Look at you! Look at me! And Obviously, all. my crew here need a little practice, so madam, mind I mouth. Oh. <laughs> How's everybody? Are we having a nice time in Bermuda? Yes! Go, St. George! What are you doing in life? <laughs> well, that wasn't so nice. <laughs> As you can see, this woman needs to be taught a lesson. Gossiping, impugning of reputation. I don't even know what that means, sir, so I, I can't say that I'm guilty of it. It sounds you good. Mean, well, to do it to ignorance is not an excuse. Gentlemen, don't go! Do you think this wedge is one May you have one no. 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 I don't think so. He's killing himself laughing. Learned anything? Do you think she's uh -huh. repentant? Yeah. I think not. Oh. <laughs> I think you need to be taught a lesson, madam. Oh, do I, sir? Yes, madam, you do. Gentlemen, it's time to teach the wench a lesson. Don't go! <laughs> <laughs> and as many of our roads are two-way roads with little space for passing. Also, there is no eating, smoking, or drinking of beverages on the train except for water. We are now leaving Ordinance Island, which at one time was two separate islands. During World War II, an American submarine operation base was established on this island. As we make our way across the bridge, the white building to my left is Aspen House, built in 1709 as a residence. Currently, it serves as a pub and restaurant. 
Looking to my right is King Square and the Town Hall. The town of St. George's was incorporated in 1797. Town Hall is where the mayor, three aldermen, and five common councillors take care of the business of running the old town. On this tour, you will notice that many of the roads in St. George's are named after royalty. Anglican Church in the New World. Once you make your way up this 26 steps and enter the two seated doors, you'll be a part of over 400 years of history. The majority of Bermuda families have a piece of cedar furniture in our hand, which was handed down by relatives. Many of these furnishings are hundreds of years old. It is illegal to cut down a cedar tree unless you have Looking to my right and to my left, you can see the radical chisel marks. The back cuts were made with a hand chisel and the front cuts were made with a hand saw. The roof on a Bermuda ham is quarried stone or quarried slate. The stone or slate is now glued, nailed or attached to the roof structure. It is held in place with a cement line and sand boat. Tobacco Bay is a shallow beach great for children and not swimmer. In addition, it is excellent for snorkeling because there are many coral reefs close by to explore. Our island name Bermuda comes from Juan de Bermudez, a Spanish navigator who discovered Bermuda in 1505. As we make our way on Cootsporn Road, I would like to remind you to keep your hands and arms inside of the coaches. You will see a gutter just above the green pipe in the wall, which is a town spout. When it rains, the water runs down the roof and is directed by the gutter to the down spout. The water runs through the down spout to the, st to the storage tank under the building. A pressure system is used to supply water to the building. Years ago, we had our own lime kilns. We would burn the lime and use the pure lime to whitewash the roofs of our homes and buildings. When the sun came out, it would crystallize the lime and leave a micro dust on the roof. When it rained, the water and the lime dust ran down the spout into the water tank and purified the water. National drink, dark and stormy, made with black rum and ginger beer. Most Bermudians still call this fort Don Carter Tavern. We left the church, and the unfinished church was never finished. However, this Gothic building is still being used for weddings, receptions, recitals, and many models come here to have their photographs taken. Okay, this is the unfinished church. You will find it online. They started it. They never finished it. So what do they do here? They keep special events. Weddings. Stuff like that. As you see, it's... We are now making a left turn or one gun alley. To our right is Summer's Garden. And this brings us to the end of our scenic historic tour. Now it's time to check out the World Heritage Center. Back on the ferry heading for Hamilton, which is the capital city of Bermuda. Let's see what's going on over there.
any gambling law. We have a gambling law, it means no gambling. So what we do, if we get our policemen drunk tonight, so we can gamble tomorrow. And we're gonna show you how to play. Right behind them will be a crown and anchor table. An American Indian. They even included the British snare. Fully covered so their masters couldn't see who they were. They'll dance telling biblical stories. They'll dance for freedom. They'll masquerade. But we didn't show how proud they were with their headgear full of peacock feathers. Being led to the street by the wild Indian scout. Followed close behind by the shoppers. Step number dance. Step number join. Each sound of the whistle means something. Notice the mirrors on their case. But in religion terms, if an evil spirit towards reflection, it will run away. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Let's welcome to Front Street, Jumpy! So I'm at annual Emancipation Day cricket match between St. George's and Somerset. And it seems like the whole island is here today. I hope it's enjoyable. Somerset fans are mobbing a batsman who just made 50 runs, half a century, which is a big achievement in this game. So he's literally being mobbed right now. The crowd is stuffing money in his pocket, shaking his hands, giving him hugs, showing him a lot of love. This is the award ceremony after the match. Somerset won, so they're celebrating.
just walking aimlessly I found this cool inn that seems like a fun place to take a dip. Shop, make a run. Anybody want anything? Then there's two more for you. This is Horseshoe Bay in Southampton. Thousand nights. 